This is Mel from Bengal Whisper. Welcome to Bengal Whisper. Hi, today we're going to talk about the benefits of neem. Uh, neem and moringa too are the most amazing plant given by God to the mankind to heal everything including death. But before you listen to the video or use it, be sure to ask your doctor or your healthcare provider before you use it. Get their permission, they're okay, then use it at your own risk. Be sure to do your own research regarding neem or moringa and then get your doctors okay then take it these videos are for information purposes only these are not for treating or curing any diseases so if you do want to take it take it on your own research based on your own research take it on your own risk and be sure to ask your doctor so now that we got that out of the way now we're going to explain what neem is and how it helps so neem tree are a huge tree these are some hundred feet tall and entire tree is useful for treating all kinds of elements and the neem tree leaves and the fruits and the bark has been used for thousands of years by all the people all over the world and also by the yogis for thousands of years to heal all kinds of elements neem leaves are usually found in hot warm countries cold countries they do not grow and the trees are huge like 100 feet tall and year around they have neems leaves on it and the best are the soft little leaves the which is light green not very dark green the light green soft little little baby leaves and they've been used for thousands of years to heal everything and it's been cooked the baby leaves have been washed cut chopped and then cooked with eggplant and potatoes and eaten and just the sauteed leaves with eggplant and potatoes with salt and pepper and turmeric and eaten with rice and that's how uh, people in India eat the neem leaves small tiny neem leaves they are not eaten raw but if you do want to eat raw leaves then you can eat half a teaspoon with your rice but be sure to add a pinch of turmeric because neem balances pitta and kapha but it gives rises to vata so putting little bit turmeric balances it out on moringa so neem is something which heals everything in this world including death now thousands of years ago when there wasn't any other option people have used neem for thousands and thousands of years now healers have used neem to heal everything including death so the neem leaf is very very useful the entire tree is useful the neem fruit the neem fruit uh, uh, one can just squeeze out the neem fruit and take out the inside content and rub it all over the skin that will heal all kinds of skin disorders and make the skin very beautiful and neem fruits uh, are eaten as well neem leaves are extremely bitter but neem fruit is actually sweet which is totally contradictory and neem twigs are used to clean tooth as toothbrush so in ayurveda neem has a special place for healing the entire body the entire system the blood and the skin and neem is 
is um, used for many diseases. One of the biggest disease used to be uh, thousands of years ago, which was leprosy, and it happened due to certain bacteria grown in the, on the skin surface and usually happened to the people who had very low nutrition and they basically lived on very low quality carbohydrates and they were lacking on other vitamin and other minerals and nutrients especially they were lacking on protein so they did not have good source of protein so they had this disease called leprosy where the skin used to melt down it was highly contagious as well so the leprosy has been eradicated for quite some time and neem uh, gets the biggest credit in that and neem is really useful neem leaf powder and they can just um, put some water in it and make a paste and put it on top of the leprosy plus uh, take one teaspoon of neem leaf in the rice or just cook the neem leaf and eat it like a spinach on the rice now neem leaf is extremely bitter extremely bitter but it does the job of healing everything and one gets used to it like uh, if someone needs neem leaf it does not bother them so much and usually people cook neem leaf with some potato cut and eggplant and then just saute it like fry it and with little bit of oil and salt and turmeric and pepper and neem should be always cooked and eaten with little bit of turmeric because neem leaf is best for um, balancing the dosas of uh, uh, pitta pitta dosa and uh, uh, but uh, it uh, heals the pitta but it gives increase in the vata so neem should be taken by a um, little bit turmeric but it, it it balances kapha too so kapha and pitta gets balanced but vata gets increased so to balance that too it should be taken as a ball with little bit of turmeric in it or you can cook the neem leaves with some turmeric and eat it then it's easily digestible now it is good for leprosy it is good for any kind of blood disorder it purifies the blood it is good for any kind of eye disorder or the bleeding from the nose or any kind of intestine problem digestive problem any kind of uh, virus bacteria parasites is it is antibacterial antimicrobial antifungal and antiviral so remember the word antiviral so it heals the stomach any kind of upset stomach or constipation or gas or bloating or loss of appetite and uh, it just makes the digestive system really good and it makes the uh, production of digestive juices so food gets digested and people get hungry now it is good for a lack of appetite as i told you to it uh, really works on the digestive system and heals it so appetite gets increased and it cleans out any kind of skin disorder acne pimples any kind of problems any kind of ulcer in the stomach and it is very good for circulatory system and it's very good for blood sugar control and blood pressure control because it works on the circulatory system and um, good for heart disease cardiovascular problem and it's good for fever or diarrhea 
any kind of liver problems is good for any kind of mouth and teeth problems like gingivitis where people have the gum disease and the smelly mouth it cures all those it heals all those things it is also been used as a birth control method so the people the women who are pregnant should not use any leaf because it causes abortion neem leaf is antibacterial antiviral antifungal neem leaf powder works as a contraceptive women had used it for many years and it is a spermicider so it kills the sperms it heals asthma it controls the blood sugar thus control diabetes it helps to heal the total digestive system it helps to heal any kind of skin disorder it helps to heal ulcer maintains great oral hygiene and kills all kinds of bacteria and viruses from mouth and stops any kind of bad odor from the mouth and it increases the blood circulation in the body thus healing all the elements in the body and it helps heal uh, the symptoms of malaria and it is very good for controlling mosquitoes with the neem oil spray neem the entire plant is useful so neem oil spray as uh, getting rid of bugs and parasites and worms and dandruff any kind of hair problem hair fall dandruff or hair getting uh, gray quickly so uh, neem works on all this hair problem and head lice kills the head lice and it is as i told you it balances kapha and pitta but give rise to the vata so use it with little bit of turmeric it is great for skin and use it as exfoliant it prevents any kind of skin problem rashes eczema psoriasis acne it heals everything in the skin it helps with the dry itchy skin scaly skin and dandruff it's great for liver uh, liver uh, problems and digestive problems it heals the liver and it is great immunity booster it prevents cancer helps prevent some stds and it's properly heals the digestive system provides relief from constipation gas bloating stomach pain stomach issue diarrhea it is very effective in treating and preventing any kind of fungal bacterial viral problems it kills of all the bugs around us all the insects and bugs so neem oil spray is very good for spraying on the plants to kill of bugs and spraying around the home spray and keeping neem leaves in foods to make sure it doesn't get bug it is used to treat any kind of uh, urine infection urinary tract disorders and any kind of stomach element or any kind of uh, stomach parasite bugs neem leaf can make a great immune boosting tea few neem leaves and ginger and few basil holy basil leaves and then crush them all and boil them in a cup or two water and then bring it down and put some black peppercorn crust and one teaspoon of fresh raw honey and drink it up and it will heal any kinds of problem in the body because this is a great immune booster drink it are also good for aging skin like uh, wrinkles or any kind of 
edge spot it's really good for that so use it as a mask and neem cleans out the kidneys and urinary disorder it kills any kind of parasites but just be patient with it it takes a little time and neem raises your vibration so it's cleaning your blood and oxygenating the body so the person feels very happy and concentrated and good for um, better meditation and sadhana so as you can see the neem has lots and lots of benefit and just be sure to ask your doctor before you start anything new but taking one teaspoon half to one teaspoon of neem powder with your meals not on empty stomach with your meals with the pinch of turmeric could be very beneficial but be sure to ask your doctor's permission before you use anything new because this channel all these videos are information purposes only these are not medical advice and these are not meant to heal any diseases these are just for videos for entertainment and information purposes so if you want to uh, take neem be sure to ask your healthcare provider and do your own research and take it on your own risk so thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video and i will see you with many many more Thank you so so much for watching my videos, don't forget to like, subscribe.